we had the big focus on the German Chancellor uh, Olaf Scholz, who has arrived in India yesterday. Now, he uh, has uh, been accompanied by several senior ministers of his cabinet, along with a trade delegation for high level talks as a framework that has been established by the two countries in 2011. During his visit, the German Chancellor uh, will be travelling to Goa later today, where the German naval frigate Baden Wurttemberg and the combat support ship Frankfurt Main are making a scheduled port call as part of Germany's Indo Pacific deployment. This is Scholz's third visit to India since he became the Chancellor in 2021. In 2023, he visited India twice for a bilateral state visit in February and to attend the G20 Leaders Summit later in September. And on the Indian side, Sri Ashwini Vashna, Minister for Electronics and Information Technology. Thank you, sir. Ma'am. Next, we have the exchange of the joint declaration of intent in the field of employment and labor. On the German side, Mr. Ubertus Eil, Federal Minister for Labor and Social Affairs. And on the Indian side, Dr. Mansuk Mandavia, Minister of Labor and Employment, please. Thank you, sir. Next, we have the exchange of the joint declaration of intent for joint cooperation in research and development on advanced materials. On the German side, Ms. Bettina stark Watinza, Minister for Education and Research, and on the Indian side, Dr. Jitendra Singh, Minister of State, Independent Charge for Science and Technology. Thank you, Ministers. Next, we have the exchange of Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation in the Field of Skill Development and Vocational Education Training. This will be done from the German side by Ms. Bettina stark Watinza, Minister for Education and Research, and on the Indian side by Sri Jayant Chaudhary, Minister of State Independent Charge for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Next, we have the exchange of the joint declaration of intent on Indo-German Green Urban Mobility Partnership for All. On the German side, this will be exchanged by Dr. Barbel Koffler, Parliamentary State Secretary, and on the Indian side by Sri Vikram Misri, Foreign Secretary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the exchange ceremony. Now I request the spokesperson of Ministry of External Affairs to conduct the remainder of the proceedings. Namaskar and good afternoon. Your Excellency, Mr. Olaf Scholz, Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, Honorable Ministers, members of both delegations, and friends from the media. We will now have the press, press statements. May I request Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, to give his remarks to the media. Your Excellency, Chancellor Solch, Dono Desho ke delegates, media ke saathiyo, Namaskar, Guten Tag. Sabse pehle mein Chancellor Solch aur unke delegation ka Bharat mein हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं मुझे खुशी है कि पिछले दो वर्षों में हमें तीसरी बार भारत में आपका स्वागत करने का अवसर मिला है भारत और जर्मनी की स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनरशिप की व्यापकता का अनुमान आप पिछले दो तीन दिन की गतिविधियों से लगा सकते हैं आज सुबह हमें जर्मनी के एशिया पैसिफिक बिजनेस जगत की कॉन्फ्रेंस को संबोधित करने का अवसर मिला मेरे तीसरे कार्यकाल की पहली आईजीसी मीटिंग अभी कुछ देर पहले संपन्न हुई है अभी हम सीईओ फोरम की बैठक से आ रहे हैं 
इसी समय जर्मन नौसेना की शिप गोवा में पोर्ट कॉल कर रही है और खेल जगत भी पीछे नहीं है हमारी हॉकी टीमों के बीच फ्रेंडली मैच भी खेले जा रहे हैं साथियों चांसलर सोर्ट के नेतृत्व में हमारी भागीदारी को एक नया मोमेंटम और डायरेक्शन मिला है जर्मनी की फोकस ऑन इंडिया स्ट्रेटेजी के लिए मैं चांसलर सोर्ट का अभिनंदन करता हूं इसमें विश्व के दो बड़े लोकतंत्रों के बीच पार्टनरशिप को कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव तरीके से मॉडर्नाइज और एलिवेट करने का ब्लू है आज हमारा इनोवेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी रोडमैप लॉन्च किया गया है क्रिटिकल एंड इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज स्किल डेवलपमेंट और इनोवेशन में होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अप्रोच पर भी सहमति बनी है इससे आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सेमीकंडक्टर और क्लीन एनर्जी जैसे क्षेत्रों में सहयोग को बल मिलेगा और सिक्योर ट्रस्टेड और रेजिलियंट ग्लोबल सप्लाई और वैल्यू चेंज का निर्माण करने में भी मदद मिलेगी साथियों रक्षा और सुरक्षा क्षेत्रों में बढ़ता सहयोग हमारे गहरे आपसी विश्वास का प्रतीक है क्लासिफाइड इंफॉर्मेशन के एक्सचेंज पर बनी सहमति इस दिशा में एक नया कदम है आज संपन्न की गई म्यूचुअल लीगल असिस्टेंस ट्रीटी से आतंकवाद और अलगाववादी तत्वों से निपटने में हमारे साझा प्रयास सशक्त होंगे ग्रीन एंड सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ के साझा कमिटमेंट पर दोनों देश निरंतर कार्यरत हैं। आज हमारी ग्रीन और सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट पार्टनरशिप को आगे बढ़ाते हुए हमने ग्रीन अर्बन मोबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप के दूसरे चरण पर सहमति बनाई है और ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन रोड मैप भी लॉन्च किया है साथियों यूक्रेन और पश्चिम एशिया में चल रहे संघर्ष हम दोनों के लिए चिंता के विषय हैं भारत का हमेशा मत रहा है कि युद्ध से समस्याओं का समाधान नहीं हो सकता और शांति की बहाली के लिए भारत हर संभव योगदान देने के लिए तैयार है इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कानूनों के तहत फ्रीडम ऑफ नेविगेशन और रूल ऑफ लॉ सुनिश्चित करने पर हम दोनों एकमत हैं हम इस बात पर भी सहमत हैं कि 20वीं सदी में बनाए गए ग्लोबल फोरम 21वीं सदी की चुनौतियों से निपटने में सक्षम नहीं है यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल सहित अन्य मल्टीलेटरल इंस्टीट्यूशंस में रिफॉर्म्स की आवश्यकता है भारत और जर्मनी इस दिशा में सक्रिय रूप से सहयोग करते रहेंगे साथियों पीपल टू पीपल कनेक्ट हमारे संबंधों का अहम स्तंभ है आज हमने स्किलिंग और वोकेशनल एजुकेशन में मिलकर काम करने का निर्णय लिया है आईआईटी चेन्नई और ड्रेस डेन विश्वविद्यालय में भी समझौता संपन्न हुआ है जिससे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स ड्यूएल डिग्री का लाभ उठा पाएंगे भारत की युवा शक्ति जर्मनी की प्रगति और समृद्धि में योगदान दे रही है हम जर्मनी द्वारा भारत के लिए जारी की गई स्किल लेबर स्ट्रेटेजी का स्वागत करते हैं मुझे विश्वास है कि हमारे युवा टैलेंट पूल को जर्मनी के विकास में योगदान देने के बेहतर अवसर मिलेंगे भारतीय टैलेंट की कैपेसिटी और कैपेबिलिटी में इस विश्वास के लिए मैं चांसलर सोल्स का अभिनंदन करता हूं एक्सलेंसी आपकी भारत यात्रा से हमारी पार्टनरशिप को नई गति ऊर्जा और उत्साह मिला है मैं कह सकता हूं 
कि हमारी पार्टनरशिप में क्लैरिटी है और इसका भविष्य उज्जवल है जर्मन भाषा में कहूं तो आल इज क्लार आल इज गुड बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दाके शौन थैंक यू सर मे आई नार रिक्वेस्ट हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर ओलाफ शॉल्स चांसलर ऑफ द फेडरल रिपब्लिक ऑफ जर्मनी टू गिव हिज रिमार्क्स टू द मीडिया sehr geehrter Herr Premierminister, lieber Narendra Modi, vielen Dank für den freundlichen Empfang hier in Neu-Delhi. Es ist längst zu einer guten Tradition geworden, dass wir beide uns mindestens einmal im Jahr treffen. Wir haben ein bilaterales Meeting, zumindest einmal im Jahr. Ich habe die Indien Monate vor zwölf Monaten besucht, auf der Gelegenheit des Gipfels der erfolgreichen G20-Präsidentschaft Ihres Landes. Und ich habe sehr viele Erinnerungen an dieses Treffen. Das gleiche gilt für meine Besuche in Indien im März 2023. And the year before that, you visited Germany twice. First, as a guest at the G7 summit in El Mao and Laisha that year, uh, you came to Germany uh, to attend the intergovernmental consultations in Berlin. That is a very impressive illustration of how close relations are between both our countries. 25 years ago, we created the strategic partnership between Germany and India. Our cooperation has become ever more trusting, solid and substantial. Growing together with innovation, mobility and um, sustainability, that is the motto of the seventh Indo-German intergovernmental consultations that have taken place today. It is a fitting motto because it illustrates the um, extent to which India and Germany both in, uh, profit in equal measure benefit in equal measure from this good and trusting cooperation. This is especially true for the field of economic ties. Germany has become India's most important trading partner in the European Union, and I'm determined to further strengthen and build on this uh, link and cooperation. I have with me, as members of my delegation, a high-level business delegation that has seized the opportunity to engage bilaterally with India's industry and business. And parallel to our consultations, an Asia-Pacific conference of German business is taking place here in Delhi. This offers an excellent stage on which the German business community can present itself as a reliable partner for the future of your country and our country. Um, we have a clear message for the entrepreneurs in both our countries. There is enormous potential to further build and expand trade and investment between both our economies. And as Chancellor, I strongly favor a ambitious FTA, free trade agreement between India and the European Union. I believe that both sides would benefit, and uh, it should be our ambition to make headway in that regard. We've also made good progress with regard to another topic. Almost a quarter million of Indians live in Germany these days. That goes to show how successful our migration mobility agreement has become. The men and women from India live in Germany very often in sectors in where they are most urgently needed, in the field of medicine, in the care sector, and in IT, and it is our objective to attract even more skilled labor from your country. We have developed a specific country-specific agenda for India to that purpose that we have presented to our colleagues in New Delhi. It is, by the way, the first such country-specific agenda in the framework of our strategy on skilled labor. And then that goes to show how much we value India as a partner in that respect. I'm pleased to see that your government has responded positively to our interest in the mobility of labor, and especially skilled labor. And we hope that you will seize and the Indians will seize this opportunity. Our countries also want to cooperate more closely in the fields of environmentally friendly and sustainable technologies, like digitization, software, and semiconductor production. We are therefore strengthening our innovation technology partnership. We also want to cooperate more closely in the sector of energy, to begin with in the field of wind and solar energy, but also in the field of hydrogen. India is set to become a global hub for green hydrogen. The federal government and German companies would like to be part of this success story. We touched on bilateral issues, but of course we also took the time to speak about geopolitical issues today. Let me start by saying that, especially in times like these, it is of the utmost importance that India is an anchor of stability in South Asia. The international rules-based order 
which has, co has come under massive pressure as a consequence of Russia's attack on Ukraine. Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, against Ukraine affects Germany and India in many ways. No one can close his or her eyes to the conflict and the impact it has on us. Therefore, I improve that India supports a lasting and just peace. And I am pleased about your readiness to make use of the reliable relations that you have developed to all parties to contribute to a political solution of the conflict. This war, which has been raging for so long and has caused so many deaths, has to end finally. Ukraine's integrity and sovereignty must be preserved, and this is what we are working for, what we aim to achieve. We also agree with regard to a second conflict. We have have at all we have by all means to avoid a further escalation of the violence in the Middle East. We need to see a ceasefire, the release of the hostages and a political process that leads to a two state solution. At the beginning of my statement I spoke at length about the good ties between India and Germany. We aim to further develop these ties also in geopolitical terms. Tomorrow a German frigate and a combat support ship of the German Navy will arrive in Goa on a visit. Prior to this visit, the German units have engaged in a joint exercise with their Indian counterparts. I very much look forward to welcoming the uh, Navy members tomorrow. In the Indo-Pacific, the Federal Armed Forces is also present and underlines that there too we stand up for respect for rules-based international order. The freedom of maritime trade unions must be respected everywhere. Prime Minister, I would like to thank you for the excellent talks we've had today. I believe that the intergovernmental consultations in New Delhi were a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you, that concludes the press statement. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your So there you have the two leaders at this point of time uh, exchanging those greetings and particularly talking about the strategic ties that have only strengthened in the last several years. Now this is the seventh inter-government consultations that have taken place today. Uh, this treaty that was signed between India and Germany in 2011 has now strengthened. This is uh, the third visit of uh, uh, Chancellor Olaf uh, to India in the last several years. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also visited Germany in the past. Mahima Katari on the telecast with me. Mahima, uh, give us details particularly about uh, the three day visit. Uh, yesterday, President Olaf, uh, Chancellor Olaf arrived in Delhi. He has that bilateral meeting with him. And today, the seventh inter government consultations address that was made by both the Prime Minister of India and Chancellor Olaf. Uh, that both the leader we uh, saw Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chancellor Olaf uh, making the press statement wherein uh, both uh, the leaders uh, discussed the strategic ties but also what was important that both the leaders stressed on Russia and Ukraine war and wherein Prime Minister Narendra Modi focused on dialogue uh, and peace uh, but what exactly happened throughout the day uh, like you asked that uh, about the three day visit that uh, Chancellor Olaf is on Prime Minister today met uh, uh, German Chancellor Olaf and discussed a wide range of issues focused on blustering bilateral strategic ties as we heard both the leaders. Prime Minister, firstly, uh, Megha welcomed Olaf uh, for a one-on-one -on -one meeting at his official residence uh, in the local landmark. Uh, what uh, was learned that both exchanged views on the areas such as defense, trade and clean energy. Uh, the clean energy that Prime Minister also focused on in his press statement. Uh, uh, and like you correctly pointed out, Olaf uh, uh, arrived uh, in Delhi late uh, yesterday, uh, that is Thursday, as part of his three-day official visit to India. He was received by Union Minister of uh, State for Home Affairs, Nityanand Rai, while addressing the 18th Asia-Pacific Conference. Uh, Mega, it is also important uh, to underline few of the pointers of Prime Minister Narendra Modi because he addressed the 18th Asia Pacific Con Conference, uh, wherein Prime Minister stated that this year uh, is the 25th year of Indian Germany strategic partnership. Now, the coming 25 years are going to take uh, this partnership to new heights. The confidence that Germany has expressed in India's 
killed manpower is amazing also in the press statement right. just few minutes back prime minister narendra modi also sp uh, spoke about the youth and the skilled labor and the manpower that uh, germany has uh, expressed uh, confidence in and also today india is becoming the biggest center of uh, diversification and de risking today right. india stands on a strong pillar of democracy demography demand and data this is the right time to join india's growth uh, ah, okay all right uh, those uh, are statements thanks uh, uh my mom for giving us those details for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon